Okay, so for today's lesson in taping, we're going to utilize three uh, taping applications. We're going to do a simple U-lock uh, taping technique where we go around the medial malleolus, around the foot, and then providing some support and re-education, uh, neuromuscular re-education to the lateral aspect uh, and the peroneals. This is mainly used for people that have had some type of an inversion sprain where they've sprained their ankle this way. So again, the lateral aspect is getting uh, stretched and elongated. We're getting those danger threat messages that are happening in through this area. So we really wanna keep them in a neutral position when we are using that uh, U-lock uh, taping technique. We're also gonna be utilizing uh, a heel lock technique where we stabilize the calcaneus uh, around uh, around the distal end of the tib and the fib. And then we're also going to utilize a figure eight pattern where we provide general stability to the whole foot and around to the distal end of the tib and the fib. So I've got some pre-cut, uh, pre-measured tape that I'm using. Again, this is uh, the rock tape. Uh, again, we tape for pain posture performance. To begin with, what we want to do is we want to have our patient's foot in a neutral position what we do with the tape is you peel off the end of the tape. We're gonna come just superior to that medial malleolus and we're going to uh, tack the tape down onto her skin with no stretch. We're going to pull the tape, the back of the tape off so that we've got full access to all the tape. Again, no stretch at the uh, the tacked portion where we begin. We're gonna slowly come around the medi medium malleolus and we're gonna provide a little bit of stretch. Now you can do 100% stretch. We're gonna come back to about a 50% stretch. It's going to wrap right around the lateral aspect. I'm gonna keep the stretch on as we go over the lateral malleolus where we come up onto the skin. I'm going to release the stretch and we're just going to tack the tape down we're gonna give a little bit of a rub to activate the adhesive on the back side of the tape. Get that crease out of there. The next taping portion or taping technique that we're going to utilize is a heel lock technique. So again, this is to stabilize the calcaneus. So we're gonna start with, again, the tape on the medial aspect of the arch. Again, I've pre-measured and cut this. So again, no stretch around this area because it can actually become quite sensitive for the, for the patients. As I get around the foot, it is going to wrap right around her heel. Be sure to tack that down. Continuing to take the tape off. Again, wrapping around the heel and coming right back to where we started. So there is a nice heel lock. It's all supported through the calcaneus, through the metatarsals. And this taping technique is going to be a figure eight taping, taping technique. So we're gonna peel the end off. We're going to tack it down with no stretch onto the skin. <clears throat> I'm gonna start to peel the tape off. We're going to wrap around with no stretch. We're gonna come up and over the top of the foot with no stretch. Now, when we get to the medial part, when we're coming back, I'd like to place a little bit of stretch around this area. Just as it goes around, no stretch around the Achilles. And then backing up and over, ending the taping technique with no stretch on the lateral aspect. And that is your figure eight taping technique. So we've got a nice amount of stability that's happening on the lateral aspect of the foot. We've got some neurological engagement happening for the peroneals, and we've got some nice stability for the medial aspect of the foot also. So if we let her foot just relax and go down, it's nice and stable, it's in a neutral position, and this is a great uh, application that we can send our patients home with. The tape can stay on for three to five days. They can be active with it, they can get it wet, they can uh, sweat with it. 
If the tape starts to peel off, then what they can do is they can just trim the edge of the tape and re-tack it back down. But after about three to five days, the neurological messaging or neuromodulation has uh, been maximized and it's time for it to start functioning on its own. We don't leave the tape on for a long period of time or do multiple applications back to back with the tape because the body adapts and it becomes uh, ineffective at that point. So there are your three taping techniques. We've got a U-lock taping technique, which is the orange. We've got the uh, heel lock taping technique in order to stabilize the calcaneus and the talus and the distal tib fib. And then we've got the figure eight technique in order to provide a little bit more stability for those uh, metatarsals that may have also been involved for the lateral aspect and for uh, the distal end of the tip and the fib. So uh, I would encourage you guys to take a taping course, incorporate these into your practice. It extends the neuromodulation and the neuromuscular firing, the ligamentomuscular reflex uh, that uh, we really want to take advantage of in order to create a long-term rehabilitative state for this patient. So there we go.